This is not my apartment, and no, I have not left Tianjin. I have actually traveled 40 minutes, probably about 30 miles east, to the port city of Binhai, which is also a part of Tianjin. I haven't been able to get out of Tianjin yet because I don't want to wait in line to get a COVID test to leave the city. But I wanted to get out of downtown and explore a part of Tianjin that I haven't been before. Hey everybody, it's John Thomas. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking on the video. I'm here in Binhai for a couple of different reasons. One, it's my friend Chen's birthday today and we need to celebrate. I haven't been down to his neck of the woods here in Binhai before, so I thought it would be fun to take you to his birthday party and let's see what kind of mischief we can get up to. They have this new tower called K11 Tower. It's this beautiful big building here in Tianjin and I thought that we would check that out as well. So what are we waiting for? I think you're waiting for me to go. So let's go. I'm back from Chen's party. What a crazy night that was. I'm not gonna go into tremendous detail. Chen's party started out so wonderful and then ended in this enormous bar fight that I have never seen before in my life. Let's just say wine bottles were being thrown across the room, beer bottles were being thrown across the room, chairs were being picked up and hurled at people wasn't fun, so we all got out of there as quick as we could. So I ended up back here in my house because I didn't want to stay another day in Binhai. Cases are getting a little bit bigger, and so I thought that I would come back and relax. So I'm using this Philips eye massager that just is heated and it moves around your temples. Eye massage in China is really, really, uh, popular especially in like kids and children to make sure your eyes are relaxed but let me tell you this is like the best migraine headache relief and maybe hangover cure <laughs> I've ever had it's so wonderful oh and it plays these songs I am I in a rainforest no I'm in Tianjin so I literally just filmed that piece and they knocked on my door. I have to go do another COVID test. So I'm taking you with me on this round because this is quite interesting. So I just get a knock on my door and sometimes a couple of pounds, you know, sometimes I'm upstairs, I can't hear. So anyways, I open the door and they're like, it's time for your test. So let's get ready to go for our test. It's always so flipping cold. Last time I had to wait like 30 minutes out there, so I gotta get my hat, my jacket, my mask. Oh, I got my mask here. Oh, I should've done that first. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is one of the worst parts because there's like two elevators. One of them doesn't work. So because I'm on a lower level floor, elevators are packed full of people when they get to me. So I may need to take the stairs. I got all the way downstairs and realized I don't have my passport. So now I have, now I have it, time to go. 
back down again. Mine's not that long today. Before I was all the way back there. So the intermittent information, they do like 10 people at a time. So 10 testers in a tube. An untypical morning routine. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's typical now. I'm back, done, did the test. Uh, now I gotta make some breakfast. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be boring you today, but this is this is just gonna be like what I do in the mornings. So uh, I'm gonna make some eggs, and I have some overnight oats that I'm gonna eat. So that's the best way to make eggs. I learned it from, I think it was Gordon Ramsay, like the, I researched the best scrambled eggs. So you don't add salt or pepper till the end and they're so fluffy and soft and amazing. Yeah, anyways, they're delicious. So I'm gonna go enjoy those and my oatmeal. Here are the oats. I just make them with oats, <laughs> oat milk. Uh, some vanilla protein powder and I add a couple of chocolate chips. So I make like a huge supply that lasts for three days. So this is a one day piece of that. One of the things I'm gonna attempt to do today is try to find a place that prints photos. So I've got all these blank walls and I thought it would be fun to print some of my own photos because I do have like empty photo frames <laughs> that I've been waiting to find perfect photos for. And then I thought I could put some of them up around the apartment. Oh, it's closed. Closed for the holiday. They don't open till tomorrow. Oh no. Okay, let's try another one. So all of those shops were closed. So now I am headed to another part of the city that I think will have an open camera shop. At least in maps it says that it's open. I'm now on a mission. I want to get these things framed or printed and then framed. Another one closed. <laughs> I am out of luck today. Okay. So there was, there are no places open that are able to help me with the uh, photo printing. So I'm giving up on that and I'm in this place in Aochang usually where I get my hair cut. So I'm in the foreign grocery store that's in this mall. It's called D-Mart. And I'm trying to find one of my favorite things, which is like cookie butter. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. Let's see if they have it. There it is, one left. In the US it's like cookie butter with 
Spookalos or something cookies, but this is Biscoff cookies. So good. I just got a new oven and I want to try to make those egg bites. So I think I'm going to pick this up because that'll fit in the oven. None of this day is turning out as expected. I have been denied from every place because they're closed. It's Chinese New Year, of course they're closed. The only thing that's really open is restaurants and bars. So I think I'm gonna do what I've done the rest of the week is just go home and watch some Netflix because although it's a beautiful blue sky day, nothing's really open. And it's so cold outside, I don't wanna spend time in like a park. And I've done enough shopping, I don't need anything new. We're gonna head back home where I can get warm again. Oh, Starbucks. Do I need a coffee? Maybe, maybe I'll get a coffee. I got my coffee. Is that an Olympic torch? What? Doubt it. So I just got home and decided I wanna make those egg bites now. So I have them for the morning. So I'm gonna head to the grocery store, make these egg bites, and then I'm gonna chill out and watch some Netflix on the couch where I've been hanging out for the majority of this Chinese New Year, just doing nothing, which has been incredible to say the least, uh, which is why I haven't been filming a lot. I just needed time to do nothing and it's felt wonderful. So I'm gonna go get the stuff and then make some egg bites. I went to the grocery store, I got all the ingredients, I have my oven preheating, it'll be up to 175, but with a, like a water bath to make the egg bites, I guess, cook more evenly. And then I've got this mushroom and onion mixture, which isn't turning very brown, but that's okay. I've got a buttered, my egg bite pan. I've got the egg mixture and then some cheese that I will put in. So, I'm kind of pumped about this. I'll see how they turn out. I'm going to let the mushroom mixture cook for a little bit longer and then we're going to get these assembled and pop them in the oven. I didn't realize when I got this apartment that it didn't have an oven, so I had to get a little little oven. So now all my pans are too big. So I have to buy little pans, like the little egg pan. One of those things, I, I got so excited about the window in the kitchen that I did not even think about the fact that there wasn't an oven. So they're all really full before I even put in the egg mixture. So they might be really small little egg bites, but here's hoping. Let's do the eggs next. So there's what they look like all done before they go in the oven. So, let's get this into the oven. All right, let's do this for eighteen minutes or. All right, let's see what happens. Oh my God, look at them. <laughs> They're going straight up. Okay, the oven has turned off. Look at them. All right, I'm gonna try to do this, holding the camera. Oh my gosh, they look perfect. There we go. Got it. Wow! Oh, they totally shrunk back down like a souffle. Okay, those look pretty flippin' amazing. They are done. I took one out of the oven. Check it out. Crispy, cheesy. Let's give it a try. Ooh. Mm. 
That's pretty good. Mushrooms could have probably been chopped a little bit more because they're still quite large. But the top is nice and crispy. Not too much cheese, so it's not too greasy. Highly recommend. Mmm. Those are gonna be perfect for breakfast, and I can freeze them, though I think I'll go through them fast, so I don't think I need to freeze them. But eat a couple of them in the morning with some oatmeal, done. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I made those, yes.